Hey side friends, welcome to our buddy's lesson. Spiegel is so excited, he wants to wish all our friends a birthday this week. Happy birthday! Let's jump up and down and worship together with the plants. Wow, praise time is power. Praise time is power. Shout that out. Praise, praise time, time is, is power. power. And praise releases your faith towards heaven. And remember what Jesus prayed? He prayed, our Father. Everybody say, our Father. Our Father. Now, there is a name in Hebrew, Abba. It means Daddy God, Father God. So we're gonna sing Daddy God. I know it's one of your favourites. So let's focus on the Father. And remember, Jesus said the Father is seeking, looking, searching for those who would worship Him in spirit. That means out of your heart, out of the real you, in truth and in your spirit. Let's give Him our praise and worship through Daddy God's song. Here we go. Honour and majesty, glory and power be to Almighty God, be to my Father. Focus on Him. Honour and majesty, glory and power be to Almighty God, be to my Father. That's good, Daddy. Daddy God. It's wonderful to be with you, that's it. Daddy God, so good to be your child. Daddy God, it's wonderful to be with you. And I live to worship you with all my life. I live to worship you with all my life. Do you live to worship God? I know sometimes through the day, I actually forget about Him. But I know that He never forgets about me. And we can bring our thoughts back to God through a song. So let's sing this again. Daddy God. Honour and majesty, glory and power. That's it, good. Be to Almighty God, be to my Father. Honour and majesty, glory and power be to almighty God be to my father sing daddy God daddy God lift your hands it's wonderful to be with you daddy God so good to be your child daddy God it's wonderful to be with you and I live to worship Spiegel has an awesome plan. He loves playing games and he knows you love it too. The game is called Pair the Baby with the Dad. Oh, look at this cute little baby elephant. Who do you think his dad is? The elephant or the giraffe? You're right! It is the big elephant. How about this baby kangaroo? Who's his dad? Would it be the horse or the kangaroo? Oh, you guys are clever. It is the kangaroo. Okay, how about this one? Look at this cute little baby lion. Do you think his dad is the hippo or the lion? Oh, for sure, the lion. Last week, we saw what Fiegel looked like as a baby and we talked about growing. Not only growing bigger and stronger, but also growing closer to God. Get ready for Fiegel Tales! Hey everyone, this is a channel about an eagle kid and his great adventures. And I'm JD, and I'm a friend of Fiegel's family from a land far, far away. A land that is filled with books and stories, as you can see behind me. What stories do you like? What's your favourite? One of my favourites is this one, The Lion King. Maybe you've heard of it. And I would love to read you that story today. 
But Fiegel has something else in store. So I wonder what Fiegel's tale is about today. In our last video, you met Fiegel's family. They are such a cool family. I've been lucky enough to know them for quite a while. I've known them for years, actually. You know, I love climbing trees. I did it a lot when I was a kid. And one day I found this giant eagle's nest. And that is when I met this amazing eagle family. Now, one would think that a giant eagle family would be pretty famous, right? Can you think of any famous families? The Jetsons! The Incredibles! The Walking Well, I think my dad is pretty special and he is a bit famous for his dad jokes and also for the work he does at Bayside Church. His worst dad joke is, the other day I was speaking to my dad and I asked him for a bookmark and he burst into tears saying that after 12 years I still didn't know that his name was Rob. This, hey Fiegel, this slime is pretty sticky and gross. It reminds me of slugs. Have you ever had a slug race? <laughs> Funny. It's also weird how the slime changes all the time. It's hard and then it's soft. It's not very consistent at all. I love hanging out with my dad and doing really fun stuff with him. Like this one time we went to the beach and there's this little picnic place there and we had fish and chips with our whole family and friends. What an amazing story and memory from Trinity. I wonder if you love hanging out with your dad and what you do with him. You know, I, I love spending time with my dad. When I was a kid, we used to go fishing all the time. Now, I wasn't very good. I didn't really catch much. But dad, dad knew what he was doing. He was really good. And he was also really good at fixing things and building things. So I knew that if I was building stuff with my Lego or other things like that, if I broke it, I could go to dad and dad would fix it. How about you, Fiegel? But I also love hanging out with my other dad, my heavenly dad. And I think that God is pretty special and he's very famous. Some people are famous for some kind of bad and not so great stuff. But God, he is famous for his amazing love and for doing some very great things. You know, God created everyone. We are made in his image, which is amazing. And he also made every living thing, which includes like this giraffe. And giraffes are, are, are kind of weird, you know? They're kind of like these big spotty dogs with a really long neck. But God created them. He is so talented. And if God created us, well, that kind of makes him everyone's dad. And he's also Jesus' dad. And we've all heard how awesome Jesus is. God is also famous for many other things. But what really makes him a great dad is his character. He has a great sense of humour, and we know that because we all have a great sense of humour. I mean, just look at Pastor Rob. He tells some great jokes. We know that God loves us, and we know that because he wants to have a relationship with us. And we know that no matter what is going on, we can talk to God because he is always here. But even more than that, 
The Bible says in Psalm chapter 145, verse 8, The Lord is gracious, kind, and tender. He is slow to get angry and full of love. And that is amazing. But what does it actually mean? Well, it's a good thing I have some experts on hand to answer that question. Psalms 145 verse 8 means to me that God always has his arms open and we can go to him whenever we feel sad or we've done something wrong and that he won't get angry with us but help us through the next stage of our life and forgive us and fill us with love and happiness. I think our experts have done a great job answering that. You see, this scripture tells us that God is very different from human dads or eagle dads or even giraffe dads. He cannot be compared to any person or anything on earth. When God makes a promise, we can trust that he is faithful. God's character is constant and it does not change. Unlike the slime that Trinity was playing with that was changing shape all the time. God is the same and he is always there for all of us all the time. That's a pretty special dad, hey? I think the Bible is super cool. I especially like reading Proverbs. It's like a handbook for life. Did you know that there are over 8,000 promises in God's word? That's 8,000 promises that God has made to you, me, and Fiegel. These promises can't be broken because God is faithful. God is a promise keeping, always loving, always abundantly generous, generous, and kind hearted kind of dad. And he's everyone's dad. My favorite promise from the Bible is the rainbow promise. Maybe you can let us know what your favorite promise from the Bible is. There are some amazing promises in the Bible. And I hope that you have found some that are really important and special to you. Well, obviously this weekend is Father's Day. And so why don't you give your dad a big high five or a call or a hug. Maybe your grandpa as well might be good to talk to him. And so whether you have a human dad, an eagle dad, a giraffe dad, or maybe no dad, please know that God, our daddy in heaven, loves you more than anything and that he is kind and tender, slow to anger, and that you are very precious to him. He'll also let you wear cool shirts in your favorite color, like mine today, which is purple. God is the most famous dad of all time and he cares about you and you and you and even you in the back there. He loves all of you so much. Let's pray together. Dear Daddy in Heaven, thank you that we can trust your promises. Thank you that you have created such a great place for us to live and for all the cool animals, especially giraffes and maybe slugs too. Thank you that you are kind hearted and loving. Please help us to get to know you better. Amen. Next week, Fiegel and his friends are gonna be playing with bubbles. I love bubbles. Do you love bubbles? Have you seen those giant bubbles? See you next time. This week, we celebrate a special day for a special person. It's Father's Day. And if you don't have a father, you can think of any other person like a mom or a granddad that you look up to and love very much. Beagle hopes all of you have a good time with Dad today. I hope you get to have fun. And I hope it gets a little bit crazy. But at the end of the day, 
be sure to say thank you for your dad. For today's activity, Fiegel made a special Father's Day card for his dad. Fiegel traced his hands to make a card that says how much he loves his dad. You can also make a special card. Remember to grab an adult and follow these easy instructions. It's time to pray with prayer bear and feet. Dear God, thank you for giving me such an awesome person in my life, like my daddy. Thank you for being my dad in heaven and that I can trust you with anything. I love you so very much. We hope you have a great week and people can't wait to see you next time.